welcome or welcome back to the channel. I owe you guys the biggest apology. I am so sorry. It's been, it's been like a month since I posted my last video. And in that month, so much has happened. Um, most of it being me being sick, my children being sick, my husband being sick. Like we have gone through it y'all. We have, and it's been like one thing after another. So I, I apologize for my absence. I, I have nothing else. I have nothing else for you, but I'm sorry. Um, anyway, when, oh, that's not going to fit. What about Daisy Meadow? I want it to have something with meadow in it. Daisy Meadow. Okay. Wish we could put a little S on the end of it, but we're going to make it cute. Daisy Meadow. Um, and so much has happened. So much has happened. So, when we were last playing this, we were playing 1.5 heavily modded, which by the way, yes, this is 1.6 and it is heavily modded because what is my favorite thing? Mods. I've played vanilla. I love vanilla, but I, I love mods. Um, we're going to skip the intro, but we are going to start with the new 1.6 Meadowlands farm. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not crazy about this farm because there's not... I don't know. I've had a hard, really hard time trying to make a cute design and decorating with it, but I think I might have figured something out on stream because I have been streaming 1.6 on my Twitch channel. So if you want to come out and hang out over there, it's Kelly's Crossing on Twitch. Come hang out with us and say hi. Um, but we're going to do the Meadowlands farm and let's, let's jump in. Let's get into it and talk. We have so much to catch up on. Okay. So First and foremost, let me tell you guys, we have expansions in here. So we also have the Stardew Valley Expanded expansion, and we have the Ridgeside Valley expansion. I do love with the Meadowlands farm, though, that you start out with two little chickadees. Hi, babies. Also, you guys already know the drill. If you're looking for any of the mods that I am using, there is a Google Doc listed in the description for you to find all of the mods. Remember to mod at your own risk. It can sometimes, and make sure you're just paying attention to what you're doing. We are gonna be running for perfection again. This is just gonna be a fun little let's play, play through with a bunch of mods and all that other stuff. Um, of course, I try not to do anything that's gonna change the game too drastically. La 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 la, words are hard. What I mean to say is like, I don't want to add like new, a whole bunch of like new recipes and new machines and stuff like that. That is not my intention. Really, I love map mods for like the quality of life stuff and the aesthetic stuff. But because I've added Ridgeside and expanded, there are going to be like a couple newer things that you're not going to see in a regular vanilla gameplay for those who aren't familiar with uh, Ridgeside or Stardew uh, Valley Expanded. So, but as for like purposely adding like, you know, new artisan goods or anything like that, I will not be doing that. I don't want to do that. I want to keep the game as close to the game as I possibly can without altering too much. But at the same time, still playing and enjoying it the way that I like to enjoy it, which is with mods. And I know not everybody does enjoy mods. So listen, we all play differently. It's to each our own. And I just, I wanted to put that out there too. All right. On the Meadowlands farm, we unfortunately do not get our parsnips. So we actually have to go buy them from P P Panair. Um, from Pierre. Okay, it's our first cut scene. This is Ridgeside. Shh, Lenny, not too loud. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and... Chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyway, I gotta go. Lewis, everybody already knows. Still, got lots of paperwork left. Real nice of you to saddle me with all that, by the way. Stop calling me that. And it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. No can do, Lulu. It's my right as your big sister. Anyway, gotta go. Catch the cable car. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. That kind of confused me, though. <laughs> Why did that confuse me? Take care now. 
Oh, did I hear that? Yes, I did. Kelly, yeah, nice seeing you. How much of that did you hear? Every single word, sir. Ugh, Lenny. Why do you keep your relationship with Marnie a secret? That's what I want to know. That was my sister, Lenny, my older sister. She came by to give me Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. Why? Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you? You're there. <laughs> There are neighbors in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. That cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it? I did hear that someone in the village has close ties to the governor. Ooh, I wonder who. Anyway, do go visit when you have the time. Part of their tourism re revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know? Will do. I'll be up there for sure. I better get back to town. Goodbye now, Kelly. Bye, Lewis. Ridgeside Village, huh? I guess I should visit sometime soon. All right. Let's make our way. All right, sir. Please. Your finest parsnip seeds. Fifteen. Shall do. And I guess while we're here, we can go around and say hello to people. I do want to just throw it out there that anything that's vanilla, I'm not going to go through just because... Y'all know we've been through it a hundred times. I'm just anything for Ridgeside or Expanded, I will definitely be talking about. But I think I just want to kind of go over vanilla stuff for now. Got to make sure we're checking our trash can. Alex, yeah, I am the new girl. Oh, wait. Whoa. This is a new... I wish Grandma had chickens. I'd eat a dozen raw eggs for breakfast each morning. Cool. Well, <laughs> I guess we missed that conversation. This is a Ridgeside character. You're the new resident of the valley. Lenny said you'd likely stop by. Nice to meet you. I'm Kenneth, Ridgeside Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Kenneth. Also, I have, we have the big task of trying to figure out who we will marry. And I'm not going to ask you guys yet who we should romance. Because I feel like we should get through one, two, three, four. Hold on. I can't talk and count at the same time, apparently. Get through like all of the introductions. So if you're not familiar with the Ridgeside characters, then you could decide. Just remember, Harvey is a no no because we have married Harvey in the past. And as much as I love him, I want to try to branch out to other relationships. So Harvey's the only vanilla character that I've married. So now we have a whole bunch of vanilla characters. And then we also have the Ridgeside characters to consider. And I think there are some romanceables from Expanded too, if I'm correct, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, you guys, I've never gotten past having year one of Stardew Valley Expanded in my game. So I'm really excited. For this playthrough, I'm really excited for like a, a nice long playthrough to enjoy with you all and discover all kinds of things because there's still so much about this game that I feel like I don't even know. So we're out of energy. So <laughs> off to bed we go. Off to bed. That's day one. Day one is done. Well, you know what? We could go around and meet people. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. We have 67 people to greet. Oh. Maybe we'll go talk to some people. Let's go explore, shall we? Okay, let's go explore Ridgeside. Let's forage and do all the things. Let's see who we can meet, pick up things that we can pick up. I can't pick anything up because I didn't make, no, I didn't make a chest. Oh, rule number one. Oh, we have a cutscene with Lenny. Hello there, Kelly. How was the cable ride? Welcome to Ridgeside Village, a village on the side of the ridge. <laughs> the slogan is a work in progress. Yeah. I guess you finally read the letter he gave you. I'm the one and only Lenny. Please hold your applause until after the tour. I'm the chief administrative officer of Ridgeside. Where aren't you the mayor of Ridgeside? It's a complicated way to say she who does the paperwork 
We don't get a lot of visitors from outside the valley, so we're really happy to see you. Oh, I'm happy to be here. It's been a while since anyone lived in that crusty old cottage on Daisy Meadow Farm. It was owned by a good friend of mine, so I hope you'll take care of it. Well, yeah, it was my grandpa. Why wouldn't I? A good friend indeed. Oh, look how sad she is. Let me show you around town with a quick tour. Buckle up, buckaroo. <laughs> okay. First, we have the Log Cabin Hotel. It's a great place to relax after a long hike through the mountains. It has a private balcony for events and an even, and even a gym on the third floor if you're still not worn out after your hike. I love Ridge. It's just got so many people. It's so lively here. I love it. This right here is the town square. It's the beating heart of the village. Folks like to hang around here and socialize with other townspeople, weather permitting. Up these stairs is where the magic happens. That's my office. It's made of wood, bricks, and paperwork. I occasionally visit Lewis regarding municipal... <laughs> I'm so bad at saying that word. <laughs> Duties or, you know... Just to tease him for taking himself too seriously. It's my Yoba given right as his sister. Smell that? That's Pika's, the primary hub for Ridgeside cuisine. I like the dishes he serves, and I love that atmosphere. Don't even get me started on the view. Don't look down, though. If you do, don't blame me when you start feeling nauseous. Feast your eyes on the starbound stage. Robin and Clint helped us build this stage for gatherings and activities. It hasn't seen much use lately. It's a shame, to tell the truth. Local morale hasn't been all that great recently either. There are rumors going around town about dangerous fruits and spooky ghosts. I can assure you those are nothing but rumors. The only dangerous fruit is a pumpkin tearing spirit's eve. There are several other farmers living in the village. Jarek's farm, the Blooming Hill Farm, is located in the northwest. He must be made of mushrooms because he's a fun guy. Get it? God. We do love a good dad joke. Yes, we get it. But seriously, he sells useful farming products. We also have Nightingale Orchard in the southwest, managed by the Leidens and their niece, Alyssa. Alyssa is a sweet young lady with a wonderful voice. She lacks the confidence to perform, unfortunately. Perhaps someone special could help her find her voice. Perhaps. That concludes the grand tour. I wish you a warm welcome to the Valley, Kelly, and an even warmer welcome to Richside. I'm happy to be here. I love it here. Okay. Oh, I can't pick that up. I can't pick anything up because I don't have a chest. I'm half tempted to go home and make a chest. It's fine. Let's see if we can meet some folks. I'm not totally worried, though, about meeting everybody so soon because we can... Meet them all at the Egg Festival. Oh, hello. Sunny tells me you're the new one in town. People call me Madame Maeve. Now, excuse me, I still have business to attend to. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Where are your manners? Oof. Okay. Hello there. I heard your name is Kelly. If you wish to know more about laws, history, and art, I could be of assistance. I would like to practice the theories of my pre-law for a youth course whenever I can. Otherwise, please don't bother me. I have tons of work to do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hello? She's so cute. Irene, hello there. I'm Irene, and I'm the world-renowned chef of the Amethines. If you want to try some of my delicacies, I'm always at the Purple Mansion, okay? Hold on. Can I get her to cook for me? Is that what that means? Can I eat this? Some freshly cooked dishes may be awaiting to be served. Hmm. You must be a Miss Kelly. Welcome to the valley. My name is Sunny. I am the Amethine family butler. It's always a pleasure when a new face comes to the region. I have errands to attend to now. May Yoba bless your journey, young Kelly. Wait, that's Irene, right? Isn't that who we just spoke with? Yes. Hello? Hello, dear. You're new here, Ray. Right? It's so nice to see new faces in town. My name is Lola, and I live here with my husband, Freddie. Don't mind us. Just some old lovebirds enjoying the peace and quiet. Aww. Hi there, farmer. I'm Paula. I'm an army medic for the Ferngill Armed Forces, recently reassigned to Richside. If you ever get yourself hurt, I'll be there for you. 
Well, that's good to know. Oh, wow, you have a board already? Has anyone heard of the pepper rex? They're quite fun to hunt. I challenge anyone to slay 10 of them and I'll reward you handsomely. I won't get a pepper rex for like the longest time. Does this, hold on. Okay, it doesn't expire. Okay, it doesn't expire. Hello there, I can tell that you're new here. My name is Isabel. What's yours? Nice to meet you, Kelly. I do hope you have a great stay here. Who might you be? Hey there, nice to meet you. I'm Anton. If you ever need something made, go see Robin. I'm sure sh I'll be seeing you around. Oh, okay. Good to meet you, esteemed guest. I haven't seen you around these parts before. I assume you're the new farmer Lewis informed me about. Welcome to the valley, Kelly. I'm Richard, owner of the Humble Log Cabin Hotel. If you ever fancy some quality service and fine hospitality, our doors are always open. Hello, I don't know everyone in the valley, but are you new? It's nice to meet you, Kelly. I just finished graduate school for clinical psychology and I'm living at the hotel for now. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. My name is Floor. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Ciao, you're the new farmer down in the valley. Name's Kiara. Let's hang some time. Oh, there are a bunch of people up here. Oh, hi, you must have followed your nose. I'm Pika. I own Pika as an outdoor restaurant in the heart of the village. I'm from Ember Island and the Fern Islands. Maybe I can teach you some of our language sometime, eh? A new face. Are you new here? You just said I was a new face. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm sorry, my name is Corin. I work at the outdoor restaurant at the Ridgeside Village. Nice to meet you. Good day to you. You're new to the countryside too. My name is Faye. Nice to meet you. I think Ridgeside is the perfect place to launch my fashion career. Along with that, I work as a waitress at Pika's restaurant. I hope you have a wonderful farming career. Hello, I heard that the new farmer is moving in today. My name's Shanice. My husband and I manage the small general store of Ridgeside. It's lovely to meet you, Kelly. You too. Oh, can I get over there to meet your husband? I guess not. You're a new face. I'm pretty new to town myself. Name's Sean. Let's hang out sometime. Hi, you're the new farmer who just moved in, right? I'm Ian. It's good to meet you. Ian is such a cutie. I live over in Ridgeside Village. Generally, I just work for whoever asks and can pay a good fee. That can include you, of course. Hey there, you're new here, right? You're the new farmer. My name's Jarek. Kelly, isn't it? Well, if you ever need farm supplies, you can always visit my shop. See ya. There are so many new bachelor and bachelorette options. Burps. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Hmm, I haven't seen you around before. That's right, a new farmer just moved in, huh? I assume that's you. Welcome to the valley then. My name is Maddie. I have a lot of my plates, so if you'll excuse me. Okay, Maddie is very busy. Hold on, hello? Carmen, my name's Carmen. If you need any fishing stuff, I have your back. So used to playing and having a glow ring. I'm not used to it being this dark around my my little sprite. So a part of Expanded is you can make friends with Morris. And I want to make friends with Morris before I complete the community center. I'm not going to do the Jojo route. I don't want to do the Jojo route. I have, it's no appeal to me whatsoever. But I do want to befriend Morris and see... If, like, maybe there's more to his story or not, or is he just, like, just greedy? So we are going to try to befriend Morris before. Oh, my, wait, did they already grow? No, they just look bigger. I think it's the mod I use. We're going to try to befriend Morris before we yeet him out of town. Okay, much better. So we can go get our fishing rod from Willy. We have a chest so we can actually store things. I normally take like my second day and use that as a fishing day all day. But since tomorrow is going to be a rainy day, I think we'll just wait to fish tomorrow. And then we'll just keep exploring today. Oh, wait, there he is. Today's your birthday. Farmer Kelly, welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager Joja. 
If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Joja Mart. I wouldn't bother with Pierre's store. Joja's seeds are much better than his. Okay, what do you like? Let's find out. Um, sir, you have an insanely bougie taste of items. Like, his most loved are aged blue moon wine. Like, this is thousands of gold. Chowder, fox bloom, golden ocean flower, golden pumpkin, lobster bisque, magic rock, pearl. Ugh. Um, what is, do you like this flower from Ridgeside? Hold on. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to give this guy. Okay, so I think we're just, let's head up to Ridgeside. I just went really quickly and got the um, fishing rod from Willy. I'm going to head up to Ridgeside and see if maybe some of the forage up here would be at least a liked item for Morris. <laughs> if not, like, then he's just not gonna get, he's just not gonna get a birthday present from us. Ooh, new person. I heard that someone new moved to the valley. I assume it's you. Kelly, was it? I cannot afford to waste time with pleasant trees and you are wasting my time. Good day. Okay, Mr. Guar. Well, you enjoy whatever it is that you are doing. I wonder, I don't even have enough food. I have 200 gold. Oh my God. Hold on, I don't know you. Hello? Hello, ma'am. I haven't seen you around before. Nice to meet you. I'm Philip. I work as a physical therapist for some individuals in the area. I'll see you around. There's another listing on the board already, but anyone want a fishing challenge? I challenged someone to catch two pup pebble back crab come see me after okay i have no idea where to find those but i'm assuming like that's also a ridge side thing oh i can't even afford <laughs> oh my god i can't even afford the food here okay never mind there goes that idea there's gotta be some food you look new blair you know, I've never seen you here before. What's your name? Oh, hello, Kelly. I'm Blair, your future wife. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing... Really? <laughs> My future wife? Hold on, let's see. Mountain Arugula likes this. A, B, C, D, M, O. We're looking for M, O. His name is not under Mountain Arugula. I don't think we are gonna be able to give Morris a birthday gift. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, he looks angry. Ah, oh, the new farmer. Well, that's good. I'm Ezekiel. Nice to meet you, I suppose. Okay. Moving on. Oh, a mysterious man seems to be marking a map. Hmm. <laughs> He's an elf. I see the late farmer's grandchild has arrived to the valley. And who are you? The spirits greet you, farmer, but I am a nameless traveler. But you may refer to me as Geo. Okay. You can see the true shape of my ears. Well, that's certainly a surprise. Usually, usually, this year's magic hides my true form to humans. But I doubt people will believe you anyways. I never said I was going to tell anybody. Goodness. Uh, personal bubble. Interesting. Personal bubble, sir. Thank you. Nothing. If you'll excuse me, I have to go. What was that about? That's right. I don't know. I don't know my little sprite, but we'll figure it out soon enough. Can I find something other than mountain arugula? What's over here? Oh, wait. My inventory's full. Hands down. Chest anywhere mod. The best mod. Can we ever pick any of this up? A collection of sharp weapons? Oh wait, what did that say? I might hurt myself if I touch any of these. Cherry bombs with magical runes imprinted on them. Keep an eye on the old man's farm. Await further instructions. H. The sword is emitting an ominous aura. It's boots look simple at first glance, but you soon realize they're made of no earthly metals. I wonder if that's going to turn into a shop for us. Statue showing a woman wrapped by a snake. 
Her eyes seem to follow you. Okay, what is this? A ridge side monkshood? Oh, come on, Morris. Like something, sir. I wonder if Morris... Oh, he doesn't even like a Joja Cola. This is, this is ridiculous. Well, Morris, it looks like you're not getting a birthday present. It's already 8 o'clock. Okay, well, we can at least try to make a little bit of money. Plus, there's a couple of things we need to send off just for the ship everything. So we can do that really quick. I mean, it's not going to, like, this is not going to be a lot at all, but tis what it is, friends. Tis what it is. Uh, don't get rid of the sunfish. because Well, you know what? We can actually catch another one. But it doesn't say anything about needing to send off fish. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. For almost $500. Uh, got dollars. 500 gold. And it's a rainy day. So we are going to spend our day fishing today. That way we can make a bunch of money with the fishing. And get some stuff that we need. I think I'm going to go. Like I'm going to start at like the beach. And then work my way to the river. And then up to the lake. And up to Ridgeside just to try to get one of each fish and that way I'll have what we need for the community center and we'll be working on our our fishing goal our collecting every fish okay and my idea of thinking that I'm gonna go hit up all of these fishing spots I did not consider food so I just ate all the seaweed and algae that I got but that's not helping and I don't want to eat the fish because I want to sell them because money. <laughs> we want money. But at the same time, and I, I don't have a whole bunch of forage yet either. Oh my gosh. Why did I not think about that? You would think that I haven't played this game before. Okay, I came back to the farm. We did get our first two eggs. Yay! That's so exciting. Getting started. 100 gold. Thank you. And by now, Gus's should be open so I can go grab like a couple things to eat. I think these eggs, though, really quickly, I'm just going to make me a couple of fried eggs. <laughs> a couple of fried eggs. And three salads was literally... Everything in my, in my pockets, in my wallet. I'm broke again. <laughs> All right, off to Ridgeside to catch Frid's, the Ridgeside fish. And then work our way back down to the beach to get some eel. Oh my goodness. There is another Olga's mad at me, but I know how to make her happy. I need some honey for my honey bunny. Another, okay, I just keep accepting them too. They don't have time limits. So, wait, uh, oh, this one does have a time limit. Okay, well, okay. I guess we really need to figure out where we're gonna find a pebble back crab. Have I met you? Hello? Howdy there, you just moved here, didn't you? The name's Bert. My family and I live on the south side of the ridge of Ridgeside Village. Welcome. I don't think I've met <gasps> Alyssa. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Who are you again? Kelly, is it? The one who's moving into the old man's farm. Hi there, I'm Alyssa. Nice to meet you, fellow farmer. Whenever you need help, I'll try my best to make things easier for you. She's so cute. I I don't see any crabs. Do I know you? You're the new farmer. My name is Olga. Have you met Bert or Trini yet? It's my husband and our daughter. My niece, Alyssa, lives with us as well. Oh, I'm running out of time. We need to make it down to the beach. We have to get the eels. Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years, but it ain't much but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that farm for that free property from your grandpa. <gasps> Look how mad he is about that. I didn't choose it. My grandpa told me to do it. 
or gave it to me. So I do know for fishing, we leveled up quite a bit. Let's see how much money we made. One, two, three, four. Heck yeah, we got up to level five. Oh my God, I got to level six. I do use a fishing mod for anybody who's like, how did you do that? No, I use a fishing mod um, because I'm so bad at the, the fishing game. But we did. Okay, we got 4,000. Let's go. We got ourselves a furnace, but we definitely don't have enough stuff for furnaces. Cat Mouse is here. This is the Robin apologizing for making fun of our grandpa's cottage. We are getting a backpack upgrade today. I also need to make another, we need another chest full, filled, full, filled up our first chest. So those are two things we're gonna do today. We're gonna go back to Ridgeside, try to find where these pebble bat crabs are. It says that they can be fished. I have the visible fishing mod, so it shows you what fish are available in the waters that you're fishing in. I really only have that. I don't even have that for its actual purpose. I have it because it's just pretty. It's pretty to see the fish in the water. And we shall make another chest, clean up a little bit. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of energy. We've cut down like three trees and we're done. Done for the day. We got ourselves another chest. Here you go. Get in there, stuff. Let's go say hi to our chickadees. Pick up our stone. Hi. I don't even know what their names were. They give them names. Viola and Piccolo. <gasps> Are we going to name our animals after instruments? How cute is that? Okay, Viola and Piccolo. Well, it's settled, friends. It's settled. Our animals are now going to be named after instruments because holy heckin' cute. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. At least, at least our fowl. Our fowl will be named after instruments. And then when we get other, when we get the barn animals, we'll decide what we want to name those after. How's that sound? Good plan. Good plan. Yes. Second backpack acquired. Thank goodness. Feel a little bit better about things now. Right, we need to go talk to Morris. Even if we don't have anything to gift Morris, I still want to talk to him daily to build friendship because I do want to make sure we can complete year one of the community center but I want to be at full hearts with him I just I really I'm very curious about his story I've been reading up on different strategies for optimizing the arrangement of department stores Jojo is pretty firm about things being consistent between locations, but I wonder if I have some room to maneuver and try some new things out. Hmm. I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out, Morris. Um, let's go back to Ridgeside. <laughs> let's just go back to Ridgeside. Let's go see what's going on up there. Oh, hi, Ian. Richard's a good boss, but I mean, I have lots of employers. It's a busy life. I think I'm going to start Ridgeside this way because I like to go through this little wooded area because it has a bunch of forage. And then that way we can just kind of make a circle. I am curious about this. I wonder if this is going to be ours. It looks like one of the structures on your farm truly a mystery as to what it might have once been. Yeah, that's another shrine. A faded text engraved in the tomb. Here lies the bear. Oh, wait, the words can barely be what? Let, let, oh, my gosh. I can barely read myself. Here lies. Huh. What is that? Stargazing guide for cookie. The stars are most visible after 11 p.m. on a clear night. 
Don't stray too far from the house, okay? A. Abandoned house has been boarded up. I wonder. I truly don't know where to find this crab at. I'm gonna have to Google it. Oh, hello. Hey, where did you come from? I've never seen you before. I'm Kiahi. Come visit my dad's restaurant sometime, okay? Oh, that's right. Your dad is Pika. I don't think, other than the river that runs through... Hold on. We can look at the map. Wait, is that a pond right there? Can we get to that? Because this is the river that runs through. So I'm assuming it would have all the same things in it. What is that? I didn't check, you know, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check around Geo's house, but let's go look around Geo's house. Okay, so I Googled it and on the wiki, it, I think it's this area over here we can't get to yet. It says the Ridge Forest and then another place called the River Pond. Yeah, we can't get back here yet. And then there's like a, a teleporting thing, but... We can't get through there. So, well, that's a bummer. I'm like, why would you give me... Well, now we know. Now we know if we see that one again, like, don't accept it until something's unlocked. Like, another area is unlocked. Because we will definitely not be getting there. Oh, surprising. There's nothing on the board today. Where are we on people? Craft a furnace. We will eventually... 42 out of 67. That's really not bad. What is this? We're closed. A village on the side of the ridge. If anyone can come up with a better slogan, please contact me. That's really funny. Hi. I don't know you. You're the new farmer. I'm Yuma. Shiro is my big brother. Well, I need to go. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Is there anything? I wonder if there's anything that we could actually complete in our task. Feeding animals, building a silo. We can't do that yet. Farming level one. Can we make it? We cannot make a scarecrow yet. So we're just, we're, we're just behind on everything. It's okay. We'll get there. It doesn't have to be fast. Oh, you know who else we haven't gone to meet is Marnie, but now it's after seven o'clock. It's on a Thursday too. Let's go check out the saloon. I feel like between like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the saloon gets a little bit busier so we can go. Hello. Hi. Oh, she's in a different outfit. She's so cute. I like Alyssa, you guys. Oh, there's like nobody here. <gasps> what do you want? Leave me alone. I just have to meet everybody, Shane. That's all I want. I can read it on your face. I'm new here. Hi, Emily. Have I met Gus? You know what? I did come into the... The saloon to buy... Um, I met... We definitely met Andy. Rude. I came into the saloon to buy food, and I don't think I had introduced myself to Gus. Oh, good. We get to, we still get to adopt an animal. I didn't think, like, because I know we hadn't met Marnie yet. I was actually literally just thinking this in my brain. Like, do we still get to adopt an animal if we haven't met her yet? Let's go. I'm going to, like, scooch through this really quick just so I can say, yes, I want to adopt it. And then we're going to adopt a little key kitty. Yes. Oh, gosh. What are we going to name it? It's a little calico. Um, Callie the calico. That would be really cute. I'm so bad with names sometimes. I think we'll do Callie. Callie the calico. 
Yay, we got our pet. Look how cute. It's a little key kitty. Now, where is it laying so I can go show it all the love in the world? Why do I have so much from Willie? My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Joja made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir crazy. I can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. <laughs> Yay, the boulder is gone. We can go into the mines. Maybe we'll do that. And there we go, level one. Level one farming, friends. We made it. We're gonna keep we're going to sell these two and I'm gonna keep those other portion of seat. Especially if we're gonna go to the mines. Don't have much food to go on, but I wanna go to the mines because we need a lot of copper to make a lot of things. I did not realize truly did not realize how much copper it took to make stuff. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Today is a mine day. It's not going to be much of a mine day, but. Oh, wait, it's Alyssa's birthday too, though. I do want to say happy birthday to her. She's so cute. I like Maybe we romance Alyssa. If I do want to romance her, I definitely want to get our friendship up with her. We'll keep considering. Because I also, like, Ian is such a cutie. And then we have a whole bunch of, you know, like, vanilla NPCs that I haven't met. Plus, there's other Stardew Valley expanded characters we have yet to meet. Hi. Hi past your farm earlier. It's getting pretty big. Thanks. I've literally done nothing to it. And of course, I want to like walk around and forage because I'm a collector. I'm a hoarder. I am a hoarder. My, I have the heart of a hoarder. I can't help it. I have to pick everything up. I have to keep everything. I just, is anybody else like that? Please make me feel less alone. At least like in games. Um, IRL, I'm a little bit better about getting rid of things, but in games, I, I'm going to hoard everything. Cause I'm always like, I, you never know what you're going to need. I might not need it now, but on year 18, I'm finally going to get a recipe that I'll need. I don't know. I've never made it to year 18. I've literally only made it to like year five in one playthrough and then I stopped. <laughs> so we shall see, friends. We shall see. Hi. Good day to you, Kelly. It's a wonderful day today, isn't it? Do take care now. Okay, a ridgeside Azorian flower. It's this one. Happy birthday. That's very kind of you. I love it. You're welcome. All right, now back on to what we were going to do, which was go to the mines. Off to the mines we go. Oh, fantastic. We get the community center is open. Let's go. I'm going to run in here super quick. Read the signs so we can trigger the letter from the wizard. And then back to regularly scheduled planning. All right, off to the mines I go. I will see y'all when I get out. So I realized, hold on, I zoomed out for the, I zoomed out for the, the mines. Um, I realized that I totally, totally forgot to go to see the oh thank you dad for that 500 gold we really needed that to go see the traveling merchant yesterday totally forgot and then when i realized when i noticed that i didn't do it i it was already too late it was like 10 something and i was in the mines and i was like oh well i guess i'm not doing that today i guess we did not go see the traveling merchant yesterday Granted, we don't have like a ton of money to spend with them, but it does help get community center stuff done. So 
was kind of bummed about that. Oh, well. Anyway, we also, let's see, where are we? We have 12 pieces of copper. I only got like five levels down, maybe. Uh, I guess we'll clean the farm up a little bit. I don't want to spend a crazy amount of money because I do want to have enough ready for the strawberry festival. But at the same time, like we have a lot to do. We got to grow all of the things. Oh, wait, we have to go see Rismodius. We have to grow all of the things for our crops. We have to, sh we should make a list, like a big list. So we need copper. Um, because I want to make the big chest recipe and we get that from Robin. And that's like just chests that have way more room in them and they're amazing. Save money for straws. But we also need plant community center crops. All right. And if anything else, if I like say anything else, I need to get better about using the to-do list because it actually does help a lot. And because I have ADHD, if it's not written down, I am going to forget it and then I'll remember it five years later. Like, yes, I know I have a task list that tells me all my quests that I need to do, but because those aren't right in front of my face all the time, like the to-do list is in the upper left-hand corner. So I see that versus like I have to like hit F to see the quest. So it's almost like an out of sight, out of mind type deal. Okay, skip. Thank you. You know, we're drinking strange things from strange men that we don't know. But if it's not in my in my line of sight, or if it's something that I'm like consistently looking at, like when I like was working, I had a planner that I was looking at every single day. So everything was written down on that planner. So yeah, we need this. Even for the most simplest of things, I need this. What did I want to do today though? So I put Cooper and oh my gosh, you guys, I swear I can spell. Um, it's Copper Kelly. We'll start calling Copper Cooper. We're gonna go get some Cooper. <laughs> and we can go get the thingamabob started in the community center too. I have so much to do. Like, I, it's just like one thing after and I keep giving myself tasks. I'm like, you have to do this, you have to do that. Okay. Is that all our forage that we have right now? And then I think after I do all of this, I might go fish to get some monies. A smallmouth bass, 150 for Marnie. How many days do I have for this? Two days, we can get that really quick. Okay, bass acquired. What is today? Saturday, she's definitely there. I haven't met you guys. And you know what I was just thinking too is I haven't really technically even met Marnie. Yep, I see. She's like, ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me that the new farmer was moving in. Thank you. Okay, so it's another rainy day. It's Sunday. We are not going to forget to go see the traveling merchant today. And we're going to learn how to make stir fry. So the fish I got yesterday, look at this. They're kind of like OP on pricing because they're part of the expanded fish and they're very unique. It's like a puppy fish and a butter fish and it literally looks like a stick of butter. And it's actually really cute. But they caught like they're a lot of money to sell. So I only got like five of each or something crazy like that. And that's the type, that's how much money we got. <laughs> so we're okay on money. It feels cheaty, but at the same time, it is what it is. I think after this too, like I'm gonna spend the day in the mines to try to get as much copper as we can. Cause we still don't even have enough copper to make a furnace. I wish I could put up a poll right now and be like, 
Does she have anything I will need or no? Oh, she does. We'll totally take that orange. And that's all. <laughs> Ugh. Do I want... I mean, I don't... I don't really have a choice except to wait until 12 for... I don't really have a choice um, except to wait until 12 for Gus to open. Hello? There's a kiwi fruit in front of us. It moved. Shoo. <gasps> Look how freaking cute. Oh my Jesus. It's got a little flower on its head. And it rolled. <laughs> it literally rolled. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh. What was that? Was that a Junimo? What was it doing here? <gasps> Ooh, is Kiwi a Junimo? Y'all already know I'm here to get forage. If I'm going to have to wait until noon, I might as well do something slightly productive. Okay, I definitely took way too much time foraging and walking around, and now it's 2 o'clock. Why is it that time never feels like it's moving fast enough in the game, but then it feels like it's moving too fast at the same time? Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you, when you need something to be open, it takes, it feels like it takes forever, and then... When you need to be somewhere to do something earlier enough, like time just just decides to zoom on by. We can get at least 10 salads. And then that way we should be good. We should be able to get down in the mines pretty, I don't want to say pretty far, but I'm hoping if I'm at level five, maybe I can get to at least level 15, like two levels. Uh, or, well, you know what I mean, like, two levels that have, like, an entry point from the elevator. All right, here I go. I'll see y'all in a bit. I just remembered. We have to go to the beach. We have to go to the beach right away. It is a rainy day, and we need to go catch an eel to turn into the community center. Because I do not want to risk not having another rainy day like we all know how temperamental the weather can be in this game so it's a very high possibility that i might not get another rainy day for the rest of the spring season so yeah we're we're zooming down well i mean we're not zooming you know we're not doing anything we're going down to the beach and we're gonna get ourselves an eel really quick so we can turn that in and then we'll just have to do the mines another day i did at least make it five more levels down and that's what I wanted to do before I left, like at least have an extra five levels. So I didn't get where I wanted to be, but it was good enough. Perfect. We got our eel. And we have something else we can put in the crab pot bundle too. So that way we're moving right along. The fish bundle, I feel like, is one of the easiest bundles you can get that done fairly quickly within just a few seasons. Okay, friends, thank you so much for hanging out today. As always, if you're looking for any of the mods that I used in today's playthrough, there is a link down in the description for you so you can check that out and I am updating it all the time. Also, if you wanna hang out more off of YouTube, you can come check me out on Twitch. I live stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Right now, I am streaming a lot of Stardew Valley but I also stream a lot of Animal Crossing if you're interested. So come hang out with us. Come say hi over there. Anyway, the next time we start, we're going to be starting on Monday, Spring 8. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what other stuff we can find. I will see you all later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful time zone. Bye.